How's it going guys? Welcome back once again. Um, you're not going to believe it, but it happened again. First fish of the day, unique Dolly Varden. Now, there has been quite a few different setups I've caught this on, and I will go over it. Um, but I'll do that after the reboot. I just wanted to record this now, so I had the unique there for you to see. That restart, guys, couldn't be helped. I was going to go into depth with this, however, I'm going to keep it straight to the point with each setup, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> now, first thing I do is go to Hunter's Cabin and spawn in, obviously. <laughs> oh, shit. Now you want to walk straight forward and go to your right. The times for these will be in the description down below, so don't stress too much. I was just pointing down, like you could see me. <clears throat> Weirdo. <laughs> <clears throat> if you're using the setup I showed you a minute ago when I had the uni up, you want to come to this tree, right? Just t whoop, turn, face the water, and you'll see the trees on the other side where you've got like a triangle system of rocks. You want to cast just about at that rock. I'm going to have to fast forward to a sunny day. Just give me a sec, guys. Pay no attention to the time I fish at right now, because I will include the actual times for them in the description below. So we'll just go forward to 8, 9 even. Fuck it. 5 should be bright enough. It's heaps bright. Alright. <clears throat> like I was saying. You want to cast roughly to that rock. Now with this setup. I've had my best luck. I find it easier to hook them. With a tension of two. Believe it or not. Just personal experience there guys. Your own setups may be different. Um... And snag so therefore they may work different but I do a couple of reels let it drop a couple of reels let it drop almost like a stop and go action when I'm fishing with the white nymph from over here now, I do catch them on the 6 foot or 2 meter 5 lemon, the 14 gram 3 aught jig head with the white nymph, the one I have, uh, the red nymph or strawberry, whatever the bloody hell it is, <laughs> the blue and silver beetle, I mean, bullet spinner, the rose blue bullet spinner works, the 3 0 ones. The 2 meter 3 0 craw crank as well. They're the only things I've caught the uni on. Um, I'm not saying there isn't other things that work. That's just what I've used. Like I said, straight at that rock from this side. And your reeling technique will be different unless you're using the same gear. In that case, you use the way I just did. Now, with bobbers, you want to go bobber fishing for them. I suggest a 4 oared hook with shiners or a 5 or 6 o with large minnows. Um, you probably don't need the heavy fluoro. I'm just too goddamn lazy to change it right now. <laughs> And I fish for them. 
when you spawn in, right, you'll spawn what here somewhere roughly. Go straight forward to this rock, right there, at a hundred centimeters or whatever that is in inches. I don't know. Cast right there and let it drift between those two rocks. Like so. Now don't stress if you don't get one straight away because like I said, I see a lot of people really struggling to catch this fish. So I just want to show you you know how I do, how I do catch them and I have caught the uni dolly on every setup I will show you so you know I'm not lying about that granted they don't pay that well for gold um, so in my opinion catch one put it on your card and don't fish for them again Unless you want to, of course. But if my bobber sort of gets in line with that rock, there, I reel in and recast. Alright. You can fish for them with the lures from here. Um... I know it works, I've done it myself with the 2 meter 3 -o, the 2 meter 5 -o, they both work that is a hundred percent confirmed and I think they're the, probably the two most effective crankbaits to use so I'll switch one and I'll just show you real quick maybe if it ever loads, come on, thank you. Now, yes, you can cast out there, but you'll run the risk of getting um, chum and sockeye as well. Now, if you come back a little and sort of cast in this line you'll get them as well cast as far as you can a real speed of one or two guys it really does not bloody matter one bit the only problem like I said is okay there's more than one problem snags as well <laughs> but you will get chum and sockeye fishing with lures um, so keep that in mind like so same with the 3-0 craw crank guys now another spot I know you can catch the uni what fish am I catching? dolly varden <clears throat> is out here with the same setups right. you see these three rocks you see that little one there come back sort of to the edge of the tree line like the reflection of the tree line cast in the water and do a slow retrieve don't go really fast because the dolly varden seem to be a slow targeting fish so you want to go as slow as you possibly can and that's how you catch snags guys thanks for watching <laughs> but you will get them there as well now I've also stood here casting towards that rock and reeling in um, I have not caught a uni doing that though. I have caught plenty of trophy dollies, trophy charms, stuff like that. 
but yeah. That's pretty much it, I think. I hope I've covered it all. If I've forgotten to mention something, just let me know. Um, like I said, the times for the Uni Dolly Varden will be in the description down below. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If it does help, remember to leave a like down below. Give me a comment to let me know how you get on. And I shall see you wonderful people next time. Until then, peace out and enjoy the game.